Almost every social media user has probably done this before. Share an article without having read the entire story first. But that could land you in prison in Malaysia if the news is deemed fake. It's an issue all over the world. And it actually affects individuals, businesses, you know. And we have to protect them. That's the main reason. No? So some of them are not covered by the existing laws. Under the Anti-Fake News Act, anyone found maliciously creating or sharing information that is false or even partly false may be fined up to $130,000 or jailed for a maximum of six years. The law will apply to anyone inside or outside the country, regardless of nationality, as long as the news concerns Malaysia or its citizens. Press freedom advocates say they're concerned the law may be used to target voices of dissent, particularly as elections are expected to be called soon. We have seen, in fact, over the last uh, few years where uh, online expression has come under uh, target uh, and, and expressions held by individuals, not necessarily the media or not always opposition politicians or activists. And so that's casting the net slightly wider than what it used to be before. Stephen Gunn, the chief editor of a news portal, says other laws are already being used against those who publish information the government objects to. His online site, Malaysia Kini, had posted video of a news conference in which a politician had criticised the Attorney General. It was over his handling of an investigation into corruption allegations surrounding a state investment fund. Gan has been charged under an existing law that's used to regulate online content. Communication and Multimedia Act. Now that is a very powerful law that actually criminalizes, criminalizes uh, um, you know, anyone who uh, posts anything that is considered uh, offensive, annoying. Critics believe the anti-fake news law is intended to silence debate over the scandal surrounding the fund, 1MDB, which was set up by the Prime Minister Najib Raza. Najib, who was implicated in the scandal, denies any wrongdoing. Recently, a government minister told Parliament that any news on 1MDB that's not been verified by the government is fake. Rights groups, journalists, tech companies have spoken out against the law, arguing it will stifle debate, compromise access to information, and is so wide it can even be used against satire and parody. Those concerns appear to have been ignored. Florence Louis, Al Jazeera, Kuala Lumpur.